If you're even thinking about building a brand new home in the Detroit area, this video was made for you. For me? Yeah, and really, it was made for really anyone who really wants to watch it. I'm not gonna discriminate. If you just, you're just here to just tune in, that's cool, do that. But if you are considering building a home, these neighborhoods should absolutely be on your radar. We're gonna dig into the top five neighborhoods that people ask me about when they're talking about building a new house in no particular order. The first one that people ask me about all the time is Ballantine by Pulte Homes. Ballantine rhymes with Valentine. And people love asking me about this one. I draw a little heart. Love. Now this neighborhood is Northville's newest gated community. And they've got 41 home sites in there. So it's not huge. You know, sometimes the neighborhoods are pretty small. There's a few neighborhoods out there where there's just like 10 or 15 homes. It's like in an old school or something like that. This has 41. So it, it's large enough to like, you know, give you some neighbors that you can chat with, but it's not like massive. Now this neighborhood is located on the north side of Eight Mile Road, just west of Garfield. And it's like really close to Mayberry State Park. So we look at a map here and you can see Mayberry Park is not far away. So if you've watched any of my videos about Northville, you know that I love Mayberry Park. There's a lot of history there and I talk a lot about the history of Mayberry. It is a fun place to be. So I think that if you like the outdoors, you like doing things, stuff, might be your spot. I've seen some things, man, and some stuff. Now the homes here are anywhere from about 3,500 square feet to a little over 4,200 square feet. So fairly large homes. These are not like, these are, you're not gonna find like a little, like a two bedroom ranch here. Like this is not your zone. This is like larger scale homes. And you've got four different home styles and those range anywhere from $899,000 all the way up to like 975, but you can option them out. Like anytime you see any of these prices for any new construction, just tack on some money because you know there's a good chance you're not gonna like it exactly how they have it planned. So you need to sort of budget for that. So you know, if, you're, if you're just scraping by to get in one of these, maybe look in another community. Maybe. I know there's been a lot of controversy about some of my other videos about Pulte Homes. So if you have any questions about these, again, reach out. I can answer any questions that you have. The next one on our list is Windridge Estates by Lombardo Homes. Now, I actually did a tour of one of the homes, the model home in Windridge Estates, and I love it. It's probably, it's one of my favorite uh, homes. I say that about a lot of homes, but it really is. It's one of my favorite layouts and one of my favorite homes, period, anywhere. Now, this neighborhood is located at Nine Mile Road in Napier. It's actually, so it's Lyon Township, but you have Northville Schools. So the benefit to that is you have a little lower tax rate there. So your, your property taxes are going to be less than some of the other areas, but you do have the Northville schools. The cool thing about this neighborhood is that it allows fences. And I know a lot of my out of state buyers that are moving in, they're like shocked that most places don't allow fences. This one does. So like you can kind of sneak in there, get a nice big house you know, and you can actually have a fence and have your dog running around out there, or your kids, whatever, whatever you need a fence in. I mean, well, not like, not barn animals, but you know what I mean, like, you know, regular stuff. So this neighborhood has a little over 100 uh, home sites, so 102, I think is what it is. And you have six different floor plans to choose from. And those six different floor plans range from $729,000 all the way up to $915,000. But again, if you've optioned these things out and you want to add on all the willy nillies and things, you're in over a million pretty quickly, very quickly. But you have a fence and you're close to Northville and Novi. I have had a lot of buyers build in that neighborhood and uh, I've actually considered it myself because I like it. Next one on our list is Reserve or The Reserve by Toll Brothers. Now this neighborhood is in West Bloomfield and it's located at Haggerty and Maple in West Bloomfield. You have 11 different home styles to choose from and they range from 510,000 all the way up to 750. Again, I have to keep saying this, 750 is not the max. 750 is just like the max of like the regular stuff that you can just pick out. Now, what I like about this neighborhood a lot is that you do have a fitness center and a pool and a clubhouse. Yeah, not, like, not that kind of club. I guess you could throw a party in there. You could do your own thing. You could have like a rave DJ in there. It'd be sweet. I might get mad at you for that. Let's be honest. 
Uh, I'm not going to dig that. I would dig it. Dancing? Yes, dancing. I love dancing. A bunch of my buyers have built with Toll over the years, and they love working with them. So if you have any questions about them, let me know. The next neighborhood on our list is the Oakland Hunt neighborhood. Located in Oakland Township at the corner of Rochester and Buell Roads with Rochester Schools. Where, you know, people want to know about schools. And they're like, where's the Costco? Where's the Target? What schools? Those are like three main questions that I get all the time. Now, this neighborhood was actually built by a few different builders. You have a few different builders in there in the mix doing some things, working out homes. You've got Cranbrook in there, you've got Lombardo in there, you've got MJC in there. I kind of love the fact that there's multiple builders involved in one community. How do you feel about that? What do you think about that? Do you like it when there's just one builder in the neighborhood or do you like it sort of mixed up a little bit, a little variety? I actually have a video tour of one of my favorite homes, another one of my favorite homes. Those are the ones I do, right? I do the houses that I like to show off. So I have another video tour on my channel. You can dig through and find it of one of my favorite builds. Check that out. So you've got a wide range of homes in here. You have over 200 home sites. So it is a big community, especially, well, it's like double the size of some of the other ones in here. Triple the size, quadruple the size of some of the other ones in this list. Now homes in here start at about 700,000 and then they go up into the millions. Fancy real fancy. Again, what, one of the things that I love about this community is you have the, the clubhouse and the pool and a playground for kids and walking trails. It's over six miles of walking trails. I'm sure you can run them. I don't think anybody's going to get mad if you run the walking trails. You don't want to run over some people. I not like that at all. There's tennis courts too. What's that other game? Pickleball? if they're gonna convert them into pickleball courts. I have not tried pickleball. Let me know how you feel about pickleball. I hear it's like taking over all the tennis courts. Some people hate it. Some people absolutely love it. I've not tried it yet. One day, I might just have to do it. Well, that's it for sports. The next one on our list is Margate by Robertson Brothers Homes. So Margate is located in Plymouth and it's not far away from DTP watched my videos before, you know the DTP is downtown Plymouth. So I mean like it's not far, like you can walk there if you wanted to, like, and you've got a, like a brand new home. So you're not like in the mix of like all of the older homes. Prices here start at about $545,000, but they just go up from there. You have a few different homes to choose from and they're anywhere from two to six bedrooms. I mean, I don't know too many people that are buying two bedroom homes. I mean, I guess sometimes it happens. Usually, usually we see like three and four bedrooms, like two to six what you can have here. They do not have a clubhouse. They do not have a pool, but again, it's close to DTP. And that's where people want to be when they're not in the clubhouse. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you want to make one of these communities your home? If so, let me know. And if you're still looking for a place to live, check out some of the other videos and playlists around here. And I'll see you there.